Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our English lesson. I'm glad to see you again and hope you are ready to study. Please prepare your pen and notebook. Let's begin. The theme of our lesson is at the right time. And in today's lesson, we will use cardinal numbers 1 to 100 to count, use prepositions of location and position, use prepositions of time. Please look at the board again and please listen, point and repeat. 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100, 100. Please repeat. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, let's do the next task. In this task, you should write the numbers, then decide if the sentences are true or false. The first sentence, there are days in a week. There are 10 days in a week. Is it true or false? Yes, it's false. And correct answer is, there are seven days in a week. Good job. The next one. There are seven weeks in every month. Yes, it's false. And correct answer is, there are four weeks in every month. Well done. And last one. There are 24 hours in a day. Is it true or false? Yes, absolutely correct. It's true. Ребята, в этом задании мы должны с вами вспомнить математику. А вы хорошо считаете? Молодцы! В данном задании вам следует сложить числа так, чтобы вышло 50. Давайте первое задание попробуем выполнить вместе с вами. For example, 37 plus 13 is 50. The next? Yes, 28 plus 22. The next? Well done, 45 added 5 will be 50. The next one? Absolutely right. 19 plus 31. And last one? Yes, 33 and 17. Well done. Good job. And today we will talk about at the right time. And please remember that there are 60 minutes in one hour and there are 60 seconds in one minute. Ребята, запомните, пожалуйста, что в одном часе у нас 60 минут и в одной минуте 60 секунд. Okay, boys and girls, let's do some interesting logic tasks. Please read and answer the question. The first, Madiar plays the guitar for two hours every day. How many hours does he play in a week? Madiar играет на гитаре два часа каждый день. Сколько же часов он играет в неделю? Как же мы посчитаем, ребята? Два часа умножаем на 7, и получится у нас 14 часов. Следующее задание попробуйте сами. Мадина rides her bike one hour every day. How many minutes does she ride her bike? Yes, 60 minutes. The next. 
Sanjar has a shower for five minutes every morning. How many minutes does he have a shower in a week? Okay, 35 minutes. The next, Amir goes fishing with his dad on Sundays. Today, he is fishing for 60 minutes. How many hours is he fishing? Perfect. One hour. Ребята, задача сегодняшнего урока у нас является разобраться в многообразии английских предлогов. Из курса русского языка вы знаете, что предлоги используются в предложении, чтобы придать им смысл, Они а связывают слова. В английском языке много предлогов, и сегодня мы с вами познакомимся с предлогами «место». Они помогут вам понять, где же находится предмет. Today we are going to speak about prepositions of place. In front of. Напротив. Between. Между. Он. На. In. В. Under. Под. Let's practice. Read and underline the correct preposition. Please answer my question. Where is a cat? In, between, on. Yes, the cat is in the box. Very good. Next, where is a mouse? Under, between, in front of. Okay, the mouse is between the boxes. Well done. The next. Where is the elephant? Between, under, in front of. Amazing. The elephant is in front of the chair. Good job. Ребята, а еще мы с вами сегодня рассмотрим предлоги времени. На английском это называется prepositions of time. Основные из них это at, in и on. Давайте же рассмотрим, в каких случаях употребляются данные предлоги. Предлог at for a precise time. Предлог at употребляется в точном времени. For example, at 3 o'clock в 3 часа. At noon в полдень. At the moment. В данный момент. In for months, years, centuries and long periods. Предлог in употребляется с месяцами, годами, веками и с долгим периодом. Например, in May, в мае, in summer, летом, in 2002, в 2002 году. And on for days and dates. Предлог on употребляется с днями и датами. For example, On Sunday – воскресенье. On my birthday – мой день рождения. Okay, boys and girls, let's practice again. You should read and underline the correct preposition. Answer my question. What time do you do your homework? At 3 o'clock, in 3 o'clock, on 3 o'clock. Yes, at 3 o'clock. Very good. The next, what season can you ski? At, in, on. Okay, in winter. Good job. Okay, boys and girls, you did a great job. I hope all of you are on the top of this ladder. Okay, in today's lesson we have learned to use cardinal numbers 1 to 100 to count Use prepositions of location and position. Use prepositions of time. Okay, boys and girls. It was pleasure to work with you. Our lesson is over. Goodbye.